Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's start another day. Uh, it is 6-11-2019. Uh, Ripple hasn't done what I thought it was going to do. But hey, it did bump up some. So uh, depending on where you bought, I don't remember from the last video that I've done. Uh, we, my, still, my target is still 43, 0.43. And the reason why I say that, if you look at past behavior, it's been here numerous of times. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times it's been here. Uh, the last, what is this? We're an hourly chart. The last about a week, week or two, um, as you can see here. Um, so, like I said, patience with with the XRP, of course. Uh, looks like there's another swing down. How far would I go down to purchase XRP? Uh, I sold my BTC. I bought back in, and now my new target for sale is uh, a eight zero seven three. So I made about 0.03 in the past uh, week. So 0.03 is what I made so far. Again, this is not margin trading. This is just you know targeting where you think it's going to go, buying as low as you can get it, you think you possibly get it, and then selling it when it starts to move up. So uh, I'm glad I met that goal. Uh, <clears throat> with that being said, as you can see here, uh, this is a really uh, massive uh, swing down. You had a cup. This is sort of like it was supposed to be a hand. It was supposed to it was supposed to reach right up here. Uh, it didn't, but when it went down, it did bounce up back up. Now with some consolidation, you can call this. It is dropping, but you can see there's some support because these are hammers. Uh, when you start seeing hammer candles like this, there's most likely going to be a swing up. Obviously, you can see that, uh, but as you can see here, it's also being uh, still sold. You know, on, on the MACD. This is the MACD here. And as you can see, it's being oversold by a, a little. Uh, not, not too major. This is where the strongest sell point was, which is around $0.37. Cents. Um, so you could still buy this coin at a fairly reasonable price. I would probably shoot right here. Um, I would not buy right right now. I would probably shoot right around 0 0.38. 38316. If you already bought, just sit on it for a little bit. Uh, I think once it hits right around this target here, because uh, this is the previous low, you don't want to go this far low. I mean, you could if you, if you, I mean, again, it doesn't hurt you to buy here and if it never reaches here, but just know that if it doesn't reach here, now you have to buy at a higher point. So uh, I would probably shoot right around here, uh, right around 0.38285. Again, this is uh, XRP USDT. And then once it reaches this point, then uh, I would wait for the bounce up. How far up will it go? Uh, let's bring out our indicators, ladies and gents. Oh, give me a second here. I got to go to trading view. <clears throat> All right, I got to get rid of this indicator here first. It's a little old and it's been here too long now. So let me click on that, delete that. Well, actually I can restructure it from here. Um, this was a target the last time we've done it. And the problem is it's way too low. So let me go ahead and delete that. We'll start over. Uh, I'm going to go Fib Retrace. I'm going to start right back. Actually, you know what? Since this was, since this is a new low, uh, lower low, here, I'm going to start from right around this range, and then we'll work from there. Oops. Look at that, ladies and gents. Very sensitive equipment here. Very sensitive. Let me delete that. Try that again. And then I'm going to go from here because this was the highest point. This is a, a, a old high. This is a new high from this from the 6th of uh, June uh, all the way until present time. So what I'm going to do is bring this. Uh, I'm, I'm slacking here. Forgive me. Give me one second. Second. Let's do. And I'm going to go right around here, okay? Right there. And then we'll go from here, okay? Because you got your 706, you got a 618, the 50% line, you got 382, and now we'll go and target this area here. As you can see, it broke all of these lines here, it reached as far low as here, 37 cents. Um, again, this is my target right around here, 0.38286. Uh, 
this is where I'll, I'll put I'll put my uh, bid order if if I was watching this for the very first time. Uh, by the time you get this video, it's probably going to surpass that, and it'll probably break this point here. Uh, but if it does do that, then your goal, if it does break this point, then your buy buy order is right around 0 0.37933. Okay, this is what I will go next point. But as you can see, it's starting to uh, uh, move up uh, the coin. So as you can see, the trend line is starting to move up. So, and this is again, if this bounced off this, and then this was the third one, then I would put definitely put my bid order right here. Um, like again, this is still the target, uh, like I said, but be patient. It could break this, and it could end up even lower, which is right on here. So by the time you get this video, so if you don't get this video, um, just expect to move up. Uh, how far will it go? Well, it all depends how much profit you want to make. Um, I'm still shooting for right around 43.242 for my goal, uh, which is right around right here. Exactly, right here is where I'm putting my... Uh, sell order. So if I have to sit on this coin for a little bit, I don't mind. It's been here numerous of times. But if you're buying this coin today or today tomorrow, um, you're probably going to want to put your uh, bid order in as soon as possible. But your sell order, you might want to make a couple of, you know, depending on how many ripple you have. If you bought a thousand, two, 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 two thousand, twelve thousand ripple, and you're making, you know, two cents, three, you know, one and a half cents. They said, you know, you're making a decent amount of money. Um, I would shoot for the 0 0.786 line, which is around 41.683. Right around here is where I would put my sell order. If you want to make some decent money, um, if you want if you want to just make a quick, you know, get in and get out type thing, the 0 0.50 line is good. Or the 0 0.618 line is good, which is 46.48, uh, give or take. Okay. Now let's go to Bitcoin. As you can see, Bitcoin, did, 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 I knew it was going to pump up pretty high. Uh, as you can see here, this was uh, uh, yesterday, the yeah, day before, and then this, it, it kind of tanked off. Then a nice bug, big pump yesterday, and now we're here. Uh, it looks like uh, it's doing a massive dive. But again, look at these, these uh, candles starting to shorten, and it's starting to become hammers. And when it starts to become hammers, it's a, that means it's going to be a push upwards. So get ready for that. Uh, where would I buy here uh, to be on the safe side? I, it could drop a little bit more. Uh, I think 7,700 is a good safe point, uh, which is right around here. I would put my bit. I would actually put it a little higher than this uh, because, as you can see, this was a support line. Once I got that low, it, it didn't get that low. Let's put it that that way. Um, you could put a bid order right here, uh, 773. 197 773197 is a good place to put your bid order here. Uh, that's the bottom of the last candle, which looks like a hammer. So, this it looks like it's about it's gonna swing upwards. Uh, any given moment, I mean, it could be within the next hour or so. Um, but I would probably be patient um, and put my bid order here and just wait to see what happens. Like, in, like, like any other crypto, I mean, yes, we were able to break up past 8,000. But it wasn't strength. You know, everybody started to sell off. It looked like it was a bull flag was happening. It looked like a bull flag was starting to take hold. Uh, when you see a pump like this, and then you see a, you know, a, a bull flag here, then you, what would you do? You, cr you create a triangle right here, and then you go to see and see if it was holding within that triangle. And if it did hold within that triangle, and it starts to get really, really small, and then it Usually, what it would do was shoot right up and past 8,000. And still, my goal of 8,500 is still in the works. Um, I got my sale at 8,073. But since it broke down, as you can see, it, it, it broke down. That bull flag no longer exists. There was a nice, huge sell off right here. Um, and again, uh, so now you have to restructure where you're going to, you know, pay for your or, or buy your. Your coin. So let me go ahead and uh, delete some of this stuff here. I got. Only problem is it's not clickable for me. Uh, I gotta delete. Mm, there we go. Remove all tools. Let's go bring the fridge retrace. We'll, we'll start from. We'll go from here. 
because that was a massive retrace that happened. <clears throat> there we go. Eesh, doesn't look good here. Uh, not really nothing to go by in this range. So let me restructure that. I'm going to start from this point here. Uh, let's go from here down to here. Uh, now we'll see. Now it looks a little different, okay? Because you can see that this was, you know, it, it was being broken on numerous occasions here. One, two, three, four. Uh, and again, it most likely will happen again. Uh, how far will it go? Um, I don't think it's going to get uh, any lower than it was previously. I think a good range again. Uh, I would, if you want to be, uh, if you want to get in this coin ASAP, about 7,700. But can it fall deeper than that? Yes, yes, it can. It's done it once, twice, three, four. So you're probably going to want to put your bid order. Now I'm looking at this. Uh, 7,583. 7587 right around this range here um, why would I do that because it touched here one two three four different times uh, and you have to wait to see if it touches again you don't want to buy just because you see the big huge red drop here uh, even though that you big huge red drop is is not strengthening uh, is a possibility that it could drop even further so you want to get the coin as cheapest as you can at the same time you want to make as much profit as possible so I'll probably shoot right around 7,600. 7,600 is a good bid order. Uh, what I will also do is look over here. Uh, who's buying at 7,600? Uh, let's scroll down, scroll down. I don't think it's going to take us that low. Uh, let's see, 7,600, it won't even show it. So um, that's a bummer. But I know that's a good support area that I would purchase. If I'm looking at this, for the, if I have my money in USD, uh, that's where I'm going and then my target obviously my target as you can see here would be around close to the 50% line which is right below 8,000 okay this is where my sell order would be if I'm buying this coin for the first time today again it is it is Tuesday 6 11 2019 <sighs> why would I put my sell order here uh, because it's been here once twice three you could say this was we could pretty much say this was almost Three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's going to shoot down probably right around 77. I'm saying 77. And then it's going to shoot back up and sell. And it's going to be a massive sell off again around 8,000. Um, I don't see any. I mean, I see a, 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 a shoulder. Here's the head. Here's the other shoulder. It did do what it's supposed to do here. And then we had another shoulder. We had the, the head and another shoulder. It looks like it's going to be another shoulder. So how far is this shoulder going to go down? Um, my guess is right around where it was many times before. So around 76, 77, 7600 range, right around this range. Okay, it's going to shoot down and then it's going to bounce up. And you could put a sell order at 0 0.382 from here. That's about, if you buy it right around 7700 and you're selling it at, 78 78 it's about 178 dollars uh profit if that was to again occur there's a possibility it may not there's a possibility it might uh but you're looking at short-term money this is daily trading ladies and gentlemen you you're not looking for if you if you're trying to sit on this coin for a very long time then don't don't put your bid order i mean you're, you're buying your hold until you know you decide that it's time to sell so uh, I still still have a target over 8,000 for myself. About 8,073 is where I'm going. Uh, XRP is still moving slowly, uh, which is is a bummer. But again, we'll see what happens. It is trending upwards, so that means it's it's got newer lows. I mean, lower lows, old lows, if you, whatever you want to call it. And then it's starting to stream up. So if it stays on this horizontal line and bounces off here and shoots up again, that's going to be nice. Um, I would like for I would like to see a touch here, maybe one more time before I make my decision uh, as to where I'm gonna go if I'm looking at this for the first time. Uh, you want it's, again, you want to wait for these bounces, one, two, and then you, if you get a third one, that'll be nice. Okay. I mean, sometimes it's just good to sit, sit and wait. But when you see a head and shoulders start to form, be ready. Okay, because that's always a nice indication that there's gonna be a bounce up. Uh, doesn't always necessarily mean that's going to happen. That's going to be true. 
But, uh, I mean, if you look at this coin, it's been all over the place. Same, same as Bitcoin. It's been all over the place, okay? So, but as you can see, neck, shoulder, neck, shoulder, and it looks like it might be another formation of a, a shoulder here. This could be a possible a shoulder. It looked like there was a bull flag happening, but it broke down. So what do you do next? You wait. Okay, so not everything is always, let's rush into this coin and buy ASAP. Nah, let's be patient. Let's, let's go around, let's, let's hit the target of 76, 77, between 7,600 and 7,700 is my target to get in, depending how much money you want to make. Uh, my sell order, if I were you, below 8,000. And you can make, uh, I don't know, three, four hundred dollars again another time. Now, this is going to happen. It's going to happen within, uh, I would say, within a week. If you don't mind making three or four dollars within a week, if you're trying to make it every day, uh, it's entirely up to you when you put your sell order in. If you're trying to make a hundred dollars a day, I mean, if you have one Bitcoin, you'll know what you'll make. Um, but uh, again, look at uh, the sale points. But since we're still, it's still showing, we don't have a 7,600 number here. So I would just be patient. It doesn't look like there's a lot of support as of right now. Um, not a lot. Even though, the, yeah, it looks like it's going up, but that doesn't mean shit. You know what I mean? Uh, I will still be patient. You know, that's what I would do. Uh, wait for this to, to to make a move. I mean, it's making a move. went down. Obviously, you knew it was going to make a move upwards. When you see this, it's like an elastic. You know, there's always going to be a bounce back. Elastic, bounce back. Elastic, bounce back. You know, and just, and that's how you trade. It's not making money daily. But uh, other than that... PTC target 77 between 76 and 7700. You want to sell before 8,000. You'll make about three four hundred dollars there. XRP. Uh, I would not make a move if you go if you're in it for the first time. You're watching this for the first time. Don't touch it. Wait for another bounce. Wait for it to go up and then shoot down. If it hits this line, this is where you're gonna buy. Okay, so we'll go one. This is one. This is two. Wait for a third one and then make your purchase. Once it hits this line, because it should moonshot from there. Uh, that's what I would say about uh, these coins for today. That's all I have for you. Nothing fantastic. Sometimes sitting and waiting is okay uh, until you decide to get in. So, uh, again, it is uh, June 11, 2019. Uh, let's make this happen. I'll keep you guys informed if I see anything out of the woodworks that looks very different. Uh, other than that, XRP, BTC. USDT. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye-bye.